am in New York for the week and well, maybe a little bit over a week, but I'm going to be vlogging and taking you guys along with me. I hope that this goes well because I've never really vlogged consistently for a week. <laughs> I hope I remember, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, right now it's morning time, it's about 8 a.m. in the morning. I'm going to go look for food. Um, like I'm gluten free now, so I might have a clip of me getting ready in the morning. But anyways, I will try to figure this out as we go. Cause this is like, please bear with me. Cause it's my first time. I'm really vlogging for a week long. Um, so it's weird, but we're gonna get through it. So yeah, I'm gonna go out, find some food. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. And then I'll check in with you guys later. Bye. today a lot a lot <laughs> to put it very uh simply and my brain is filled with thoughts and I need to decompress like I just need to um decompress and my things it's so important that you have your things your go-to things that you know will decompress you. One of those are exercise. The other one for me is journaling. I have a whole video on journaling. I'm a huge advocate for journaling. I uh, love it. You know, only you truly know what you need and how you want um, comfort or how you want release and only you really can give that to yourself. And I do that through journaling. Um, so I'm excited to get all my thoughts onto paper. And another one for me is reading. So I'm going to do some reading as well. Right now I'm reading Be Quiet, Be Heard, The Paradox of Persuasion, Building Trust Through Conflict. It's by Susan Glasser and Peter Glasser. So I'm excited to do this. It's really important to do things that like engage your mind. It's really easy to watch a movie um, and think that's decompressing, but to me, all that's doing is like pushing down your thoughts and emotions that will reemerge later. So it's better to just like deal with it, figure out what's going on. It doesn't even have to be bad. It just could be like you're overwhelmed or something, which I think is the case with me today. There's so many emotions, um, so many interactions. I just need to decompress uh and this is my way of doing it so we get to doing that and then i will catch you guys tomorrow morning see ya day two of being in new york city all right so i had the full intention to get up this morning and make it over to trader joe's yesterday i went to trader joe's and the line was extremely long i was just like nope it's not working cut so uh i was like i'm gonna go tomorrow morning however i got up actually it's very productive i read my book i i didn't journal this morning but i uh i read i wrote um for my new upcoming youtube video i got ready so that's like two big things that i did this morning and I think I'm feeling quite accomplished and going to the grocery store would just be like out of my way right now. So I'm gonna head in um, to my meetings and stuff and then I will catch you guys after. The plan tonight is to go to Orange Theory. We'll see if I get there. Um, so I also want to eat well, you know, because I want to be ready for Orange Theory tonight. 
So wish me luck, you guys. Uh, I hope you have a good day and I will show you some of my day. So we're gonna have on the agenda orange theory, some food tonight. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. See you guys. You're gonna lift for the backs of the legs and you're gonna use that same weight and you're gonna go into a low row from the split stance position somewhere between eight. Moisture is really hard today. There was a lot of core and I didn't really like it that much, but I powered through and I was really proud of myself, so that's awesome. is having a get together with his climbing friends so I'm here helping him cook he has an Instagram it's called Jesse we gotta cook um, I don't really be cooking all that much but he does so I didn't follow him